and here's just a little bit of our uh, posing practice that we had a few weeks ago um, just kind of going through I am switching from Nambif uh, Federation uh, to OCB so I'm trying to make sure that I am learning the poses correctly uh, so I don't get dinged on stage it's a little bit different than what I'm used to so we're kind of trying to perfect my back pose and my transitions and let me just tell you everyone has to start somewhere I have been working and, and practicing a lot just for posing because it is so important like not even funny like you could have the most amazing package and if your posing sucks then you're probably not going to win we're going to start from somewhere but if you practice and do the stretches that your coach tells you to do like you'll be fine and it eventually becomes like pretty fun uh it's it's nerve-wracking and overwhelming at first but it, it'll be fun <laughs> so enjoy all right, and I'm going to take you guys through a quick hit workout. Um, high intensity interval training is amazing for fat burning. Um, this one's particular. I'll put this, uh, the um, details down below, but it's just four movements, 45 seconds on, and I'm um, 90 seconds off. Uh, and then I'm just going to repeat it about four to five times. Also, I'd love to point out that I am terribly uncoordinated with jump rope, so please excuse it. All right, so just a like mini little physique check-in. Um, I might want to bring my light over here because I just don't think you can really see what you need to see. But um, so this is where we're at. Um, I'm currently sitting at about uh, 118, 119 pounds. Um, I am 5'5". Five, five. I round up to 5'6". Um, because who doesn't want to be taller than they actually are? Um, so basically, uh, I've got you know a little bit of quad action going on. You know, I've got some stick legs, a little bit of glutes. That's the money maker for sure. My back has come in nicely. Trying to be fit, live that fit life, yes. So I'm gonna do just a little check-in today. Um, so it is Thursday, uh, January 17th. I've got roughly around 10 weeks until peak week. Um, so really 10 weeks to really, you know, diet down and all that good stuff. Um, I had leg day today. So today I just kinda wanna talk about um, kind of like what my workout split looks like. Um, so this is by no means normal. If you are not doing like competing, um, I would not suggest this workout split. You do, um, hold on, get my hair looking how easy. And also I'm like so sweaty. Like, look at this. I don't know if you can like see, but we definitely have like a very natural glow going on right now. 
so that's cute um so basically um my workout split i work out every day um that's pretty typical for most people that compete um it's definitely not something that I would suggest, especially for like a beginner or somebody who hasn't like trained hard, especially like specifically weightlifting, cause like you will get hurt. Um, cause it does not feel great. Um, but right now I kind of have like two leg days. Um, one that is more, um, hamstring and quad focused and another that's more like glute focused and hamstring focused um my hamstrings are fairly underdeveloped right now so we do focus both hamstrings on both of those plus a lot of the movements for more quad focused and glute focused workouts do tend to um incorporate the hamstrings so it just kind of gets added in there i guess um so um the other days i have like a push day um so it's more like chest and some um some shoulder exercises and then like a pull day so like biceps and all that kind of stuff um so then those are separated out i also do plyometrics which ends up working a lot of my shoulders and my glutes um and then i do hit once a week now next week it'll go to twice a week and then i do steady state cardio for 45 minutes um usually fasted in the morning um four times a week um this is by no means what my off season looks like like i do not do cardio in the off season but whenever you have to be on stage and be judged for every little ounce of everything on you in about 10 weeks you uh ramp up that cardio just like a little bit um it makes me want to die inside just a little bit but it's fine um i would like to point out that this is going on underneath me marley what are you doing? What are you doing? Do you think that's what you're supposed to be doing right now? This is my life. She's like a child. And she of course gets another. My apartment is a mess. Um, I will have to clean it sometime, but it is definitely not going to be tonight because I'm going to watch Mary Kondo. Um, so far today, you know, my diet's the same. It's like in the morning I'll have like avocado toast and then I'll have like a snack of bell peppers and hummus and some jerky. Um, then for um, lunch I'll have like chicken and uh, sweet potatoes. And then for dinner, I'll have like some sort of wrap and some chicken. Um, and then of course I have like a protein shake in between there before I work out with a uh, banana. Um, oh, oh, hi lady. This is Lady. Um, she is my sweet baby angel. You will see her on here a lot. She is my emotional support animal. She got me through pharmacy school. She's perfect. And then I also have a little nugget that will also be on here a lot um but today today's been really good i did wake up with a migraine um i do get those from time to time whether it be menstrual related um i'm not really sure what causes them at the moment um i am seeing a specialist tomorrow um that my coach has set me up with uh, he works with um hormones and so hopefully maybe i can get a little bit more insight um to why i am suffering i get migraines right now like during prep it's usually once a week that i'll get a migraine once every two weeks a really bad one that lasts about three days um kind of on and off for three days i mean it's most of the day but they're really terrible and you know i'm lucky enough that like i can still kind of function during them but i know a lot of people who suffer from migraines um like just can't even move and i particularly can't actually um take a lot of the types of medications that people um usually take for migraines because they do interact with other medications that i'm taking which i will touch on in another video because i'm very open about mental health and um just like health in general um i am a pharmacist and i think that people need to talk about that kind of stuff but we'll touch on that in another video oh oh now okay now you want to say hi well i gotta go let in here for a little bit. Uh oh oh no oh, oh, oh this is life well thank you <laughs>